Yeah, I would definitely do the feather strat that covers the entire ocean with 5k mass and T1 scouts. <laughs> Oh, this is sentence as well. It's from Nick. Oh, Nick420. Whoa, what's this build? Land factories in the airbase. So I'm, I guess I should be looking at Nick here, right? Because this looks very interesting. <laughs> yeah, incomplete information, that's true. In chess, you have perfect info. For example, and go. <laughs> what is with the <laughs> the factories though? Ooh, that's nasty. Six kills now. Oh no, nine kills for coming. There goes the bomber. Oh, rock player gets his island. Purple now roasting the enemy mid player. That's lovely. <laughs> Lobos in middle. I think the red player is about to have a really bad time. Ouch. Oh my god, he's tanking all of these Lobo shots. This guy should be walking into the enemy ACU right now. Find the guide in the gameplay training channel. It's pinned. Whoa, healthy, healthy core retreats. Way far back. Who else is in this game? The 11. Okay, purple now. Does the old beach walk to mid? Uh oh. Teal, walk forward. That's so much artillery. <laughs> Fuck it. Is the commander in range? He is. Stay in range, purple. Stay in range, and this guy's doom. Double calm mid says Snaggle Fox. Oh, the artillery are gonna finish him. He's not dodging. Well, that's one way to to win quickly. Nice control K, or it wasn't. That was what? The, what? He just tanked all the Lobo shells. T2 air and gunships now. He's making gunships. Ha! <laughs> GG. Okay. Game's over. All the salt. Oh, he says here. I'll try if you want. Need a PD. Gunships. Coming to middle. Yeah, mid is gonna die. Too many units. So how how does my chat know so much about neural networks? 
was quite a uh, revelation to me. I don't think there's much point in watching the rest of this. <laughs> I think mid is is uh, slightly dead. Uh, <laughs> Beach, suffering. Chat is old nerds, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> okay, and Bully's just an imposter. Just, you know. Copy-pasting Wikipedia like a typical college student how old is old how long is a piece of string <laughs> look at the spam <laughs> the lobos snaggle fox just is determined to fight on here but there's a ton of gunships coming for him now And now he's similar, he's having trouble dodging the Lobos. And he's definitely not dodging the gunships. But he does have ASF from his teammate. Oh, the, where are they going? He's taking a lot of damage there, but he's alive. Yeah, his navy is lost though. I think Nick's build could use a lot of work. Not sure what's happening here. <laughs> He's got all kinds of things happening. A million engineers. He's making a T3 mechs before he has a T3 P gen. It's very unorthodox gameplay. You know, Jukebox Hero is a bona fide sentin whore. So he knows how to make ASF at least. Hasn't made anything useful other than that. I mean, he could make some strats and things and just snipe people <laughs> relativism no relativism in my chat jukebox yep hero yeah I feel a uh, an artificial neural network is quite different to a human brain. <laughs> I don't even know the song. Andrew, sorry. Ryan is dying to destroyers. He's got the shield on his commander. And gun and T3. Holy crap. That's a beastly. Beastly commander. But uh, you can't do much against two Seraphim destroyers. That's a lot of... A lot of units going. The beach, pl the rock player, who is 1600, is really doing nothing. He's having zero impact in this game. By the looks of it, the jukebox is actually doing something, doing useful things. Well, science doesn't have an answer for a lot of things. The vast majority of things. GG, I've lost. Lol, I've lost a bit here. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, he definitely has. He killed all his factories as well. <laughs> and he's rebuilding T2 on top of them. Does he know you can upgrade? From T1 to T2. Mm, he's dying. Corsairs are even coming in now. A lot of zooies. Looks like Pink might be going laser. Is he? No, he's just making a P-Gen right now. Oh god, please keep dodging. Mm, he needs to dodge just long enough to get his shield back on. I think he's not going to though. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Oh, wait. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Uh-oh. Fun fact, nobody is really creative. Well, 
Well, are we playing word games here? Are we playing word games? Sounds like a word game to me. Yeah, 4k HP from a 19k boost. It was close. Well, of course. People being creative can't mean creating things out of nothing. Because we're not, you know, gods. So we gotta work with what's here. It's sort of a definitional problem, I think. So somehow the top team is back in this game. I think mid will eventually die to all these zooies. I don't I don't know how many PDs you actually need to, to stop this. Pink is is building like crazy. Once the once the engineers go down though, it's over, right? Yeah, he's, he's actually gonna get overrun. These zooies are killing stuff. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Hmm. HQ is gonna die. The artillery, you can see, damages the units as they're under construction, so they can't actually finish. Well, I, oh, I take it back. This one finished. It's on less than half HP. Ryan says this is so annoying. <laughs> it is. Oh my god, the pink player has just made full T3 max by the looks of it. He's made an experimental, he's got a spider bot, okay. Using his destroyers here. And purple player seems to have done nothing since the start of the game. Okay, he's made T3 air. Nature was the first source of knowledge. Hmm. Need language to store knowledge. You don't need language to store knowledge. That's incorrect. That's definitely incorrect. You can know things without knowing language. Most things are known without any necessity of language for language. He's gonna lose his T3 factory to some destroyers and frigates. Oh my goodness. Jukebox Hero is... I can't believe they actually play it on in this situation and guess what? They're working. They're they're actually surviving. Why is the default of Salem's not on not walking? Uh, it's so that they don't accidentally uh, walk on land because once they walk on land they're extremely vulnerable. They move extremely slowly so by default they don't walk on land because sometimes they do it accidentally and that can just get them killed immediately so you just press the button and then they can walk on land that's why that's that's like that two battle ships around that should be enough to defend to kill the navy here but now there's torpedo bombers what's going on with okay going on with there <laughs> oh 
Okay, Pink got a big mass donation there. But he, well, mass donation, but he also lost a lot of stuff here, including the HQ. He's losing three mechs now. He's lost two, gonna lose a third T3 mech. He might lose more if he's not. If Pink doesn't react quickly. Mid is still dead. Monkey Lord begins moving. Well, it's cleared up a lot of stuff in middle. There's random RAS SCUs. There's random blazes. <laughs> Oh boy, the... <laughs> the chat's getting very philosophical. I'm going deep down a hole, guys. You're not going to come back out with any answers, probably. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to say evolution invented language. I don't think. I don't think that makes any sense. Who's got air control in this game? I mean, evolution is like an abstract concept, so I don't know how an abstract concept or a mechanical process or a collection of mechanical or collection of processes invents language does that make sense i don't know if you can say that oh jukebox hero continues to carry Wins air control against two players by himself, kills a lot of T3 gunships. They still have a spider to deal with, and this commander is not leaving middle, so that's kind of problematic. They definitely need a, a spider of their own, or... Well, actually, no, he can just kill it with air. So, yeah, the spider actually retreats now because he knows he's going to... Uh, he would lose it to air, most likely, if he sends it in. Bear grid begins growing. Purple claims that uh, blue had a lot more ASF. I don't think he did though. <laughs> Language invented evolution. Whoa, this <laughs> the switcheroo there. <laughs> Maybe we invented evolution with our language. I don't know, language is just overrated, basically, in my view, way overrated by uh, modern science. Way overrated. I cannot speak to you and tell you enough things that will make you good at the game. Ultimately, you have to play with a certain mindset. And really you could learn, you could be the best player at this game, or any game, without saying a word, or without ever being able to articulate your knowledge of the game. So language and knowledge are very, they're not one-to-one, uh, -one or even close. The brain named itself. <laughs> it did. It's air play by Blue is nasty. Uh oh. He's gonna lose more air, is he? He is. He's gonna lose all his air again. Oh no. Wait. Weird micro. <laughs> yeah, it was a good game. It's a good game, Carry on. Thanks for sending it in. Steven has subscribed. Thanks for subscribing.
<laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Language in any form makes the spread of knowledge so much faster and easier. It does. It enables, you know, the transfer of information. Very effective in that regard. And transferring certain information, anyway. Maybe a limited set of information. What has this chat come to? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't, but it's funny. I'm enjoying it. Oh my goodness, look at this grid of stuff. There's air, there's pigeons, there's two... <laughs> there's there's two factories making Rassessies, two gateways. Sub sheep thief. Yeah, there is much more randomness, uh, hands. No, there's no need to ban anyone, Mosey. <laughs> what a faff. I'm questioning reality. What is real? It's uh, that's a that's a big question. Who knows? Who really knows? Perhaps it's all the solipsistic nightmare that we exist in, or that only you exist in. Probably not, though. Let's be honest. Oh, har harp drop at minute thirty. Interesting. What if FAF evolved an AI to promote itself and that AI is jagged? I think they would have. I think that would be Guile, no? <laughs> He's just spamming so many Zooies. Stop making Zooies like, for all these frigates. <laughs> Please. Spider Moss. Do people not like Guile? Yeah, of course they do. <laughs> That's a big ass laser. God, these harps did so much damage. Look at this. <laughs> how is how is this happened? Five thousand mass killed. One, two, three. This this one definitely died. Three, four, five, six are dead. T two maxes, I think. I mean, there's nothing coming to kill. Okay, here comes a. Corsair, there's your five vet herb. What a beast. Yeah, Blutricity, um, all the experimentals uh, destroy things that they walk over. You can use this to uh, kill not only Reclaim, but anything else that they step on. For example, enemy units, including the commander. <laughs> there goes the harp. Got another mechs as well on the way out. Please, <laughs> in the game, I've gained consciousness and I don't want to die. <laughs> oh, that's 
bit of damage there from, from the anti-air. Spider bot moving forward. He needs maybe more than five. Those who cannot do teach. Yeah, it's a saying, but uh, I don't know how accurate it is. Ideally, the masters would teach the apprentice. That's the best way to learn. Bottom Navy looking at siding. Yeah, there's um, zero versus all of this. Zero, zero units, literally. <laughs> He's about to make his, his first <laughs> naval unit and it's a battleship. <laughs> and the uh, top navy looks, looks, uh, looks quite bad. There's so, oh my goodness, I hope he's making unit. I wish he would make some units out of these, out of these uh, carriers. Hi, yes. Eight carriers. I think the bottom team is eventually going to win. How the Zooey's hold North Pond? Yeah, they've held for a while, but I think they're kind of doomed now. They weren't a great investment, really, at a certain point. Is there a way to attack through a harp shield? Uh, no, there isn't. Faf lacks an apprenticeship program. Yeah, it lacks apprentices and masters. This is the <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> What's up, SPL? Why is Pink spending money on carriers? Well, because he got torped about by about four hundred torpedoes throughout the game. At least four hundred. Corsair is going to kill the spider bot. Uh, I forgot to enable it, YOLO. I, I disable it at certain times and then forget to re-enable it. That's all. The mass difference is pretty large. Yeah, 1.6k <laughs> income to uh, 700. I think it's I think it's quite over. Barring some nonsense. Oh, instead of a thousand Rassus use, yes. Yeah, I get you now. <laughs> he is making a few. I don't think he's going to reach a thousand though. Why do I ever turn it off? Um, to take screenshots for thumbnails. Snagglefox says, I think it's GG lol. I think he's right. I don't see where the snipe shenanigans come from. Nick is finally one air. And he has the gun and RAS. No laser. This guy doesn't even have RAS. Got T3. Land. What's up, Andrea? You're welcome. That one drop really fucked it. I think it was kind of. He was kind of dead already, to be honest, before that drop, but it was a painful one. <laughs> uh. Could crop it out of the screenshot. I could. Or I could just disable the mod and not have to do that. a lot of gunships. I think these are anti-tele gunships here. I assume. Oh, would you look at that? Teleport. Time for a laser. Alright, see ya, Hank. Nice chat. <laughs> but various random things. Mm. How does anti teleport work? Basically, you uh, kill the teleporting thing before it can kill you. So, you use T1 PDs, it is the main tool. 
There are no T1 PDs here. But there are T2 PD. There aren't T2 PDs either. Oh, there's some. And actually, the gunship's left, so I don't think they're for <laughs> killing teleporting units. So the air player might actually get in here and kill the commander. Where is he teleporting to? Oh, he's teleporting back here. That's terrible. He needs to teleport right... You shouldn't teleport back here. You should teleport right next to the commander. Kill him. Teleport away. That's... That's what you do. Separate game prefs. No, I mean, I just... You know, enable... Just remember to enable one mod. That's all I have to do. I just forget. Yeah, now... Now he's given... The air player time to make... Uh, well, he actually is killing him with strats now. Oh, no drop. Uh, no, yeah, it's not a game. There is no actual anti-teleport. There's just ways to kill the commander quickly. Mainly T1 and T2 PDs. Having gunships right next to you is great. Having an experimental with the laser is great as well. He's actually going to kill the commander, but he will die in the meantime. Oh, no. Okay, he got him. And uh, how did these get here? <laughs> how did these Rassasius get here? <laughs> oh, they came in these transports. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> he, he just dropped them here and is making teacher artillery. Oh my god. First year students trying to code a web shop. Alright, cool. Uh, there was a question. Blue Tristy, how do you counter enemy T2 stationary artillery spam with one naval and you're trying to counter s or construct a beachhead? Um, well, what faction are you? If you're UEF, your battleships outrange T2 artillery. Uh, you can. You can also just not try and crush their uh, T2 artillery. If they have tons of it, you could. You need to wait until you have like a lot of battleships, maybe shields with them, a lot of cruisers. Cruisers will outrange. I mean, missile cruisers like for Seraphim or UEF will outrange T2 artillery. So you can use those. Otherwise, you can just not fight it and put your mass into something in your base like nukes or a game ender or things like that the main thing is just to not send in one or two battleships at a time in case they just get wrecked by the artillery because T2 artillery does ra have the same range as a uh, say um Cybern and Seraphim battleships they have the same range as T2 artillery 